Hey guys, this is Geek Gardener and in this video, I'm going to talk about um, a situation which all of you might have faced at some point in your hydroponics journey. Yes, I'm talking about pH adjustment, not just regular adjustment, but sometimes you want to adjust your pH or you want to say uh, lower the pH using a pH down solution and by mistake you accidentally add few more drops than what is necessary and then boom you already have a pH that is much lower than what is expected. Say you all know the ideal range of pH is between 5.5 and 6.5 but what happens if you add a slightly higher amount of acid or pH down and then bring the pH lower than what is expected like say 4 like even 2 sometimes. So what do you do? Uh, while uh, it is technically what you need to do is add a pH up or raise the pH but uh, um, surprisingly I got a lot of questions on how to handle such a scenario and hence I thought I'll make a small video where we will intentionally intentionally bring the pH lower than what is expected and then adjust it back to the right range so that's exactly what we are going to do in this video so I have with me a liter of nutrient solution prepared using RO water I specifically chose RO water here because it's highly sensitive to even slightest pH addition. So I want to, you to know how quickly it can um, change its pH on upon addition of an acid or a base. I have um, 1 litre of RO water where I have added A and B nutrients to bring it to about 1.1 EC approximately, millisiemens. And I also have with me pH up and pH down. So I am going to measure the pH of the nutrient solution first and then add some extra acid by mistake and I'm gonna raise it back to the right range that's what we're gonna do so I have a pH meter I'm gonna measure the pH of the nutrient solution pH takes time to stabilize so you need to give it about 30 seconds I'm sure I would have explained in my previous videos on how to adjust pH and EC of a nutrient solution but this is something I make sure I tell in every video that's very important. You allow it to stabilize for at least 30 seconds. Okay, so it is settling at 7.9 right now. So 7.9 is where it is settling it at. So what I'm going to do, add some drops of acid. <clears throat> so I have acid with me. I'm going to take a few ml and <clears throat> let's see how much the pH changes. Once you add, give it a stir. <clears throat> My goal is to bring the pH between uh, 5.5 and 6.5. Ideally, we'll be looking at somewhere close to 6. Let's see where it is right now. It was 7.9 when we started. Perfect. I added without checking and now the value is 4.6 just what we wanted a planned mistake but good so now we are going to add pH up not in the same way we added pH down if you do that you will keep doing this all day but we will do this in iteration and then arrive at the right pH okay so I'm going to add few lesser drops of pH up and then see how to bring it back up are you with me on this just add just couple of drops don't forget to stir So this 4.7, not much change yet, so I'm going to add few more drops. <clears throat> it again. I am looking to bring the pH to around 6, 5.9, 6.1, it's okay.
Okay, some progress. We are coming to 5.2 now. It's 5.2. <clears throat> so I'm going to add few more drops. Stir. Six point one, which is okay. <clears throat> Six point one is what we have arrived at, which is good. So, just to give you a recap, this nutrient solution is ready for use, and always ensure when you give the nutrient solution or when you are preparing nutrient solution for your crops, it should be in the right pH. If you go beyond the range or on the lower side or upper side, a lot of nutrient element gets dropped out. So. <clears throat> We need to keep them in the right range always. Now I'm going to measure the conductivity as well, just to check having added some acid, some base. What is the impact on the conductivity of the solution? So it was borderline 1.19 um, when I checked. It has now become uh, 1.24. So there is some increase in the conductivity, obviously because we are adding a base, which is potassium hydroxide in my case. It could be anything depending on the brand and the make of the pH down that you are using. And for acid, I am using phosphoric acid. In your case, pretty sure it is mostly phosphoric acid, but it could also be nitric acid or a cocktail of few acids, depending again on the brand that you buy. So, so whenever you get into a situation like this, first thing to do, especially on a running farm, when you goofed up, it all it happens to all of us. First, switch off the supply to the plants. You don't want the wrong pH to go into all the channels and come back and create further mess. Ideally, when you are making the change to the tank or the reservoir, you should be switching it off. All the change that you are doing should happen. Only then you will get a very quick and a correct result. <clears throat> Unless you are doing very, very small dosing and a continual dosing, such as your controllers, it can be done while the farm is running. But if you are adding manually, I would always say, give it a complete shutdown have all the water in your farm come into the tank do your mixing and then send the corrected water back another thing i want you to note down is don't always plan on using both ph always goes up almost all the time ph goes up because leafy greens when they start growing they absorb a lot of nitrates so they leave out a lot of hydroxyl ions so in due to that your value of ph goes up and we always use pH down to bring it down. So it is only a, a backup measure that we keep a pH up. Don't always do up and down and up and down. So you are constantly adding phosphate ions and potassium ions to it. It may cause a lot of imbalance to your nutrient solution. Please understand, these are not just pH correction. These are also salts by themselves. These are also acid and base. They are also going to add ions to your solution. So it, remember this, when you make a mistake one side due to a drastic addition, don't do a drastic addition to come back, add in increments, which is why not following it, you went there in the first place. So add in increments, slowly arrive at the right range. This should give you uh, an idea of how to handle situations like this. This also can happen when you are correcting a conductivity, but when you are correcting conductivity, any increase, you can always add some water to balance it. To give you a detailed video we can do another video on how to balance conductivity but i think you all understood the motive of this video how to correct ph when it goes beyond the required value so i hope you enjoyed watching this video also understood how to correct situations when things don't go the way you expect if you want to understand much more detail how much phosphorus it's going to add how much potassium it's going to add 
how is the nutrient solution being used up by the plant how to read a plant properly i invite you to attend my training or workshop where we discuss all things in detail no questions that go unanswered so uh, please look for the uh, details for my training video in the comments or in the video at the end and thanks for watching stay tuned for the next video until then bye bye